Well folks, we got a stump that's got to go and it's a little bit bigger than what my equipment can pull out. So let's try the quarter method and see if we can pull this thing out using the quarter method. We got two options, a flush cut or a high stump. Let's try this one as a high stump and see if leaving it two feet high gives you any more leverage. And then the other one we'll do as a flush cut and see which one works out better for us. We'll start the good wood with Big Nasty and then we'll switch to the stump chain back there. Pretty good soil here. It's all sandy loam, but there's probably pebbles and gravel and things like that. But this truly is good soil to chainsaw through here. There's no big river rocks or clay and junk like that. It could be a lot worse as far as soil goes. Well, I did some shoveling so we can get down in here a little farther. I'm going to keep going with Big Nasty before I switch to the stump chain. Well, this Port Orford would make some damn good furniture. It is hard as a nail and it smells really good. But I did manage to get a decent cut. So now let's switch to the stump chain, see if we can plunge it on down into the dirt. If we can cut straight down and hit dirt, boy, that'd be a good sign. That means we cut the stump in half. One of the few times you want to hit dirt. So pray for dirt, folks. Well, I got into it about two inches and sparks started flying out. You can see the color of the sawdust that was coming out of there. You can see it did a number on that tooth. We got to take this thing back to the grinder already. Well, folks, if this doesn't make you comment, nothing will. Now this is for entertainment purposes only. I wouldn't send my customer out like this. I have never taken a chain down that low. And I have never cut with a chain that's that, that's ground down that short. But I took it down as far as you possibly could because that's what had to happen. Same with the depth gauge. It's down there a ways. So let's see what happens. I'm curious too. I have never cut or never ground a chain down this far. So you're learning with me today. Well, it started off cutting, but it didn't last. There's definitely a rock or a brick or a piece of rebar or something in there. All we're doing now is just ruining chains. So let's put the wedge on it and give it a few pounds, see what that does. Well, it didn't do much. Well, the wedges didn't do too much, so I defied the laws of tradition again and found us another junk chain. Took it down to the limits. There's definitely a hazard down in here somewhere, so I'm just going to take little sections off of each end. We'll do a section here and a section over here, and then we'll give the wedges a second chance. There's hope, folks. We're running out of options.
let's take a look at how it's going. It's going all right. We have it in four quarters. We got this big slab of furniture right here. I was just getting ready to give up and I got that far one to wiggle out. Once this one wiggled out, this one loosened up, then the other one, now we're down to just this one. Let's take a look at how good that quarter cut worked. Boy, we did alright. We about just got the whole stump cut. There wasn't much left holding it except the roots. Same with this guy. We got all the way down into here, and we got all the way to the bottom of the stump. I had so much sparks flying out of here, I didn't think we were going to make it. There's the piece still in the ground. This one still is yet to jiggle out, but this one's come mostly out. And you can see we did pretty dang good on the cut. We got way the heck down there. I saw dirt coming out when I was cutting it, but this one here had some steel or some rock or something, because sparks were flying out when I was cutting. I'm curious to know if I can find that obstruction, whatever the heck was in there. Well folks, they're always bigger than they look. Well I'd say that was mostly a win for the quarter method. There's no way I could have pulled that out with a hoe. I would have had to dig a huge pit all the way around this thing. I probably would have had to dig up the sidewalk, would have had to dig up the sewer line. So the quartering method did get it out in a smaller package. You can see how close the roots came over here. If I was trying to pull out a whole stump, it would have pulled the hell out of all of this. So I would say that's a plus for the quarter method. We're going to try the flush cut method on this one. We're going to cut the stump flush. The other one we left two to three feet high just like this, but it was a little bit bigger of a stump. We were going for the leverage advantage there. But this guy's only 18 inches up here. It's probably closer to 24 at the bottom. Let's see if we can jack it apart. He who digs the biggest hole can do the best job. So don't short yourself digging, folks. Take advantage of these pockets that just so happen to make a real natural quarter shape. One, two, three, well there's three, and back to four. Take advantage of that pocket, dig out a spot for the chainsaw to sit. Same thing, pocket, that's where the chainsaw is going to sit. That'll let us drop that saw straight down, keeping it in wood before we go sawing into the trash down there. And always be on the watch for treasures. There's always a few treasures down there. We're going to switch to the super junk chain now and see if we can cut down into the dirt. We're going to want to see brown sawdust coming out of here. That means we made it. That's when you know you made it in life, folks, when you see brown sawdust coming out. Yeah, that gave me sparks and brown sawdust. That means you're down into the good stuff there. Well, here's our arsenal of products. We successfully cut through the stump. We hit dirt on all sides. We're going to start with the wedge, pounding the wedge on down in there and then we'll switch to some hydraulic power. I want to know what that thing does. I can hear it cracking. Well, she's still pretty dang tight. Nothing really happened yet. More cracking, but that's about it. Let's see if this thing's got any bite at all. Oh man, we're maxed out already. It's not gonna do a thing, folks. I can't make that go down anymore at all. Well, that's the end of that one. Let's try the little stubby ram. Well, the tool changes nice and easy. I like that. There we go. 
This thing only has a half inch of ram travel, so we're not going to make it real far. But it's moving. Easy. And we're maxed out. I think we pushed the ram into the wood more than we expanded it. We're going to make it open up and then try to drop the other hammer down in there. Well, we're not exactly gaining, folks. We're getting somewhere, but we're not winning. We're just opening up a crack is all we're doing. We're not removing the stump at all. Well, that's a little more like it, folks. had some decent power. The issue is it's only a 7 16 inch stroke. It's less than a half inch stroke. And you really can't do much with a half inch stroke. A little bit bigger body and like a two inch stroke would be ideal. Then you could do some real work. But a half inch stroke you're not getting anything done. But it does have power and it will do some work in the right application. This might have not have been the exact application for it but this little thing was pretty dang slick. The tools changed easy and it, and it pumped and worked just like it's supposed to. So thumbs up for Harbor Freight, thumbs down on using it to pull out a stump.